When we had last left the Spacefarer, they sought out Melena Melina Axelrod, the extended relative of some guy's family that were on Aquila who were in some deep doo-doo. And it was there that they uncovered that she was in some way willing to help. But now they also had a interesting heart-to-heart with Sam Coe, who revealed a whole lot about his own parentage and some of his insecurities about his ability to parent his own child. And then they went to a little weird abandoned factory area and screwed around and shot some ecliptic dudes there. (laughs) Now it was time to do a follow-up back on Aquila. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop. 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 There we are. Whoa, the lighting really looked different. (laughs) What the hell? Yeah, look at that. Look. And then... What? Oh. There's some sort of... Whoa, there's like a weird threshold. Huh. What the fuck? How can that be? Okay, well, what can you do? Alright. Let's see here. Get Melina access to Aquila City. Yeah, we have to either deal with Tom Starre or Starret or the mayor, and we opted for the mayor. Okay. Let us just immediately go there. Oh, I have contraband. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Right, yeah, we picked up some weird shit, didn't we? Okay, well. Let's do a little bit of a transfer situation here. Good. Still have plenty of room in the ship. Fantastic. Oh, oh under miscellaneous. There we are, Xeno Warfare Tech. And a succulent to boot. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, quick saving and... Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't need to do this. My bad, my bad. Okay, my bad. Sorry, sometimes it's just fun to do. Okay. Yep. Travel to Aquila. There we are, and we'll cross our fingers, hope for the best. Hopefully we don't get Welcome caught. To free star space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Come on, 89%. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. And that's it. Uh! Enjoy that Aquila City air. I will, I will. Okay, and then... Head on over here. Great. We should immediately go talk to, um... What do you call it? The Trade Authority, though. (laughs) Although we're not planning to go the Trade Authority route here, we should still go to the Trade Authority and sell off this, uh... All these illicit goods. I wonder why Solomon named this place Aquila. You'd think I know the answer to that, but I don't. Whoa, yeah, I I would think that you would know the answer to that. I know Aquila is vaguely a real world term or proper noun or something, but I don't really know the specifics of it. Like, it rings a bell, it sounds vaguely familiar to me as well, but I don't I don't know why. Oh hey look, Tracker's Alliance right here. Hey You're looking for a bounty. Trackers of lines can help. I can't tell her. Those tattoos are is that like Cyberpunk 2077 doing well on your face? Herself. Laredo is a big player in arms manufacture. Oh. Hmm. You must fancy yourself a bounty hunter if you come to Not speak really. with me. No, I if you think oh. you can hack taking down wanted criminals for pay. The Trackers Alliance posted the mission boards like the one you'll find at the hitching post. Oh, okay. Can you tell me more about mission boards and where to find them? Fuck it. Let's let's hear all about. It. Can you tell me more about mission boards and where to find them? Hmm. You have trouble finding the mission board, and yet you think you can track down a bounty. Whatever. Mission boards are where organizations like the Trackers Alliance post jobs, such as bounties for wanted criminals. Any freelancer can take them on if they want. You'll usually find them not too far from spaceports, at bars or other places where people tend to congregate. 
Okay. Well, what is the Tracker's Alliance? We're a collection of bounty hunters. We track down wanted criminals and the like. Various organizations and individuals pay us to manage these jobs, and we pay members and freelancers who collect the bounties. I mean, do they have, like, any form of leadership? Or, like, who's running the back end? Where are they based at? You know, who's who's operating the mission boards, you know? Surely it's it's not just... Like, there has to be someone running, like, IT or whatever, right? Got any good bounty hunting stories? I haven't been in the game for a while. These days, I'm more on the admin side of things. Finding new recruits, dealing with freelancers, etc. But the wildest bounty I had was for a guy who smuggled several tons of Aurora off of Neon. I was hired by Benjamin Bayou himself. Simple, or so I thought. Tracked the mark across the settled systems only to find out it was a diversion and the guy was actually still on Voli Alpha. Built himself a little floating base using scrap crafts out in the deep waters. Holy shit. Swam out a ways to reach him without alerting him to my presence. You swam? When I found the guy. <laughs> I guess, yeah, where would you he land? He was so blitzed on his own supply that he went willingly. Thought I was an angel, leading him to the promised land. What? <laughs> instead of directly to the local authorities. Yo, hold up. He didn't try to smuggle it to sell it. He, he stole tons of Aurora just to use himself floating at this sea. This isn't a good use Oh my, my time. god. Who gives a shit about the bounty story? The real story is from whoever that dude was. Oh yeah, my god, are th but... they must still be alive, right? They came in alive. Dude brought him in alive. Fuck, I want to meet the guy who decided to try and build his own, like, little floating <laughs> pleasure den. <laughs> Good god, okay. Fuck yeah. Let's see. Oh, there's our two options. I guess one is still trade authority, which, hey, that's good for us. Like I said, I don't want to really use it, but uh, I do want to talk to the trade authority to sell off my my junk. Oh, a little canteen. Okay. Yeah, I fucking love Aquila. Just the look of it, the way the way in which it's designed and everything, I fucking love it. Oh shit, there you're Tom. Yourself, systems. Okay, fucking A, dude. So where is the trade authority here? <laughs> I always lose it. As much as I love Aquila, holy shit, it's really difficult for me to find my way around. <laughs> if only I had a map! Oh, wink. <laughs> okay, let's head on over here. Huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is this it? I think this might be it. Right? That looks like the correct paint. Nope, that is Terra Brew. Fuck me. That said, we haven't been in Terra Brew. Saw your ship come in. Nice ride. Thank you. Okay, there's Galbank. Don't you worry. The walls are soft. Let's see, was it up here maybe? No. <laughs> oh my god. Is this whole fucking video just gonna be me trying to find the Trade Authority building? Good god, man. There's the barracks. Maybe I need to get a better angle on things here. Okay. Yeah, I think we're way off base now. Must be the other direction, huh? Okay. Oh. Good. Chunks right there. Oh, fuck. Alright. House of the Enlightened. There we go. Fucking A. Okay. Good, good, good. And we'll just sell this off real quick. Do we have anything else we need to sell or whatever? I don't think so. 
But we'll have a quick peek. The trade authority looks to... What brings you to the trade authority? Oh, well, I'm here to trade. I'm sure something will catch your eye. Okay, and then... Miscellaneous, do you have any... Oh, yeah, I'll take those. Digipicks. Do you have any more med pack? I don't think so. Okay, fair enough. Sell from the ship. Good. Oh, right. Fucking A. We got all this shit because I kept fucking around with the ship. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm so surprised that it just works this way. <laughs> that you just... <laughs> right? This, this is such a wild, like, facet of the shipbuilding system that you just consistently keep getting more and more of this shit. Right? It's, it's not set up to just like, oh yeah, we're just going to delete the excess or whatever, right? <laughs> no, they just shove it all inside of your fucking interior, right? That's, that's buck wild to me. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah, 14 food trays. Why wouldn't I have that? There it is. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll sell off a few more of these. I don't think I've got anything important here. Yeah, it's Solomon's maps. We gotta be careful. Jeez, I'm Pete. Okay, oh, guess I'll have to do. How about directly from my inventory? Do I have anything? Oh yeah, get rid of the succulent. And the bell, <laughs> I just inexplicably have. <laughs> okay, anything else I should get rid of here? Prison scrubs, yeah, I don't want those. Resort wear. Huh. Yeah, I don't really like much of this resort wear. It's gotta be said. And the nightwear is pretty god awful too. The swimsuit I will definitely keep. <laughs> okay. Good. This hat should probably be ditched, right? Yeah. It is the defensive stats are better, but 15% less damage from human enemies is enormous. And eternally useful, right? Any weapons we have that we need to ditch? Eh, no, not really. We probably have a bunch of aid we could stand to get rid of. Yeah, what do we have that's really stacked up high? Emergency kit? I mean, those are kind of good. Frost Wolf, also kind of good. I'm sure it's, like, highly addictive, though. Recon Stim? Yeah, I'm never going to use that. Let's be real. I'm never going to use it. I'm getting rid of it. Me stealthing around? <laughs> that ain't happening. How about Squall? Isn't this the one that's, d yeah, dangerously addictive? I'm too scared to use it. Okay. Sure, that's fine. Okay. Great. Now, we will seek out the mayor, who I think is the higher of the two as far as elevation is con- yeah. As far as elevation is concerned. Up this way. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, this is the mayor. <sighs> Aquila City truly is the jewel of the Free Star Collective. Oh, really? Okay. Good to meet you, friend. Name's Elias Cartwright. I'm the mayor of Aquila City. Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I can't say I've seen yours around here before. I make it a point to introduce myself to everyone who passes through our fine city. As the founder himself once said, there's no substitute for a warm welcome and a friendly smile. 
<laughs> okay. I appreciate that. Thanks. I prefer to be left alone. The founder? God, he sounds like such an asshole, though, right? If he used, like, if he had a different, like, accent or whatever, it'd be different. But he's got, like, that... There's this sort of accent that's, like, um... What do you call it? Mid-Atlantic, isn't it? Is what you, you refer to this? Which doesn't technically exist naturally. It's just put on in uh, movie and, movies and, and television. But some people in real life decide to copy it, you know? It's a very, like, fancy kind of voice that I'm pretty sure doesn't actually exist beyond Hollywood. All right. The founder? Ah, that'd be Solomon Coe who stuck a shovel in the ground right here over 160 years ago. That first settlement grew to become the city you see today. And let me tell you, it was no small hardship to make that dream a reality. Yes, indeed, this place has a proud and noble history. Why, for some of us, it's practically hallowed ground. I don't know, maybe it is meant to be an English accent. Every person who comes here. To make sure they know what a special place our city is. But yeah, there's like a combination American and British accent called Mid-Atlantic, right? That that has all of those traits I just described. All right. Uh, I appreciate that. Thanks. I prefer to be left alone. No, we have to schmooze, right? We need to schmooze here. I appreciate that. Thanks. You're more than welcome. As I'm sure you know, us folk in the Free Star Collective put great stock in human kindness and generosity of spirit. I like to think that's what sets us apart from our neighbors in the United Colonies. We don't rely on machines or bureaucracy. We rely on each other. I won't pry about what brought you here. That's all of your business and none of mine. However, I'd be more than happy to give you the scoop about the core and Midtown. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Fuck it, let's hear him out about everything, right? If there's a persuasion check, maybe this will help us out with our odds. Alright, can you tell me about the core? The core is the oldest district and represents the original settlement dating back to the days of Solomon Co. The descendants of the original settlers still make their home there today. Tell me more about Frank Langston and your problem. Frank's just the latest owner of the old Hussanov Manor, and he's the worst. Simply the worst. <laughs> okay. But it's been a problem since the Hussanov family ran out of heirs. There's no wrong the Cartwrights have been trying to write for decades. And hence, well, I need help. I'm always happy to set things right. If your credits are good, I might be able to oblige. What's so wrong with Frank Langston? Man, this is Frank that we heard earlier, right? We're now... Are we getting a quest to fuck over Frank? Even though I quite liked Frank? What's so wrong with Frank Langston? He's just another slick, rude, neon corporate hack. Full of himself and just awful. I mean, the core is history itself. Cads like him don't belong here. Wow, okay. Huh. Is there some way I can maybe... reroute this the other way if I take the quest? Alright, sure. I'm, I'm always happy to set things right. I was right to talk to you about this. The last Hossanov was Sahar. Sad tale there. <sighs> By all accounts, when she lost her last grandchild around 40 years ago, well... It broke her. She packed up and just plain left the estate. Built some farm far from Aquila City and the protection of its walls. It didn't take long before the Ashtar overran the farm and oh just like that. Oh my god! <laughs> no more Hossanovs. Holy shit, they died out there? Wow, it sounds like the poor old Sahar wanted to go out on her own terms. Those Ashtas sound nasty. Can you tell me about the Hassanovs? Tell me about them. The Hassanovs were one of the early Noves. families that took to making a living in space. Very industrious, mainly miners. They settled planetside in the earliest days of Aquila City. They helped good old Solomon Co. a time or two. But they didn't fare well living in full gravity after a couple of generations in Zero-G. Lots of health issues. Eventually a string of just terrible luck left only lonely old Sahar Hassanov. Poor lady. And those that were healthy kept leaving Aquila. The 
the call of the stars. Hmm. Which is fascinating because nowadays there's so much artificial gravity, you know? It's very rare for us to be on a star station, a starship or whatever in space that has zero gravity, you know? Which, so far we haven't really gotten a good, like, sci-fi reason or, like, explanation for their gravity. We, we have ways in which we can gesture toward explanations, but we don't quite know for certain yet. Maybe we never will? I don't know. Uh, it sounds like the poor old Sahar wanted to go out on her own terms. No, it, it doesn't. It sounds like a horrible thing went wrong. You know, those Ash just sound nasty. Deadly as sin. My granddad warned her over and over it wasn't safe. So I need someone to go to the old Sahar farm, brave the Ashta, and see if she left a will. I swear I'll honor her wishes. Akila owes her family that much. And if it happens to kick Mr. Big Shot out of the core, well, that'll be a bonus. <laughs> you <laughs> okay. appear to be a deep thinker. I mean, also, at the same time, this guy's whole vibe is like Big Shot asshole too, right? They're just two different types of Big Shot assholes, it sounds like. <laughs> right, but to be fair, this other dude, Frank, like, there's nothing wrong with what he did. You know, they're very literate. Li like we said, they're being xenophobic toward him. <laughs> okay. I'm happy to help you, Mr. Cartwright. Uh, just tell me where to go. How will finding her will change anything? Sahar left no heirs, no instructions. So everything the Hassanovs owned was in limbo. What happened to the estate? Well, you'd have to be a lawyer to make heads or tails of it. But eventually it wound up on the open market. So slick neon corporate shills could grace our community. If she named any heir, we could get the estate back where it belongs. See things made right. I do find it interesting that Neon and Aquila are at odds. Maybe not everyone, but there there are segments of, of people from Neon. What would you even call them? Neonians and Aquilans who are at odds with one another because... You know, sort of the governing, the laissez-faire, laissez you know, the free market and everything shit, the, the like ultra-libertarian sort of way of running things that Aquila has is exactly what bore Neon, right? It is the, the perfect, like, example of what you get <laughs> under the sort of governance that Aquila espouses, right? Once, nice weather we're having, man. once the original founders and stuff start aging out, dying off and whatnot, moving elsewhere, you know, other people who are less scrupulous, who care less for the community, see the rules that you have set up and seize that opportunity to just exploit them and take advantage of shit, you know, and just, you know, create some sort of cyberpunk hellscape, <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, I'm happy to help you, Mr. Cartwright. Just tell me where to go. Just tell me where to go. Zahar's farm is elsewhere on the planet. If you can't handle Ashta, please just don't go. I don't want this whole sordid story to have more tragedy. Be careful. And look out for yourself. Okay. Well, good talk, but, uh, hang on. Let me also do a hard save here in front of this dude. There we are. Oh, shit. There like I go. said... Be careful. I'd rather you forget the whole Hasanov business rather than getting hurt. Well, where can I get a drink around here, by the way? You've got a few choices there. The Cantina in the Rock is famed throughout the settled systems for serving the best brew that credits can buy. The Hitching Post ain't been open long, but most folks seem to like it. If you're looking for a quick drink before moving on, give it a try. Aggie's is a bit of an acquired taste, you might say. Folks who prefer a venue that's a little more rough and tumble tend to feel at home there. Like I said, lots of options. Why does the city need a wall around it? You really are new around here, aren't you? Aquila's every bit as dangerous as it is beautiful. There are creatures out there that pose a mortal danger to anyone caught out in the open. Foremost among them is the Ashta. They're quick, strong, clever and damn good hunters. I'd tell you more. 
But you might not sleep so good. No! <laughs> Thankfully, the wall keeps them out. As long as you stay on the right side of it, you've got nothing to worry about. Well, what's the tall building in the center of town? Ah, you must be referring to The Rock. It's <laughs> home to the largest and oldest cantina in town. That's also where the Council of Governors holds its occasional strategy meetings. As mayor of the city, I have a seat on the council. The Free Star Rangers are headquartered in the upper floors. They've got the best view of the city. I like to think that means they're always keeping an eye on the rest of us. I have to say, I sleep a little easier knowing the Marshal and his rangers are up there protecting the Free Star Collective. Okay, Mayor. <laughs> what about Midtown? Midtown's where most of the business and trading gets done. It's not as old as the core, because it was built later as the city grew. As the name might suggest, Wallside's the district that runs along the inside of the Great Wall that surrounds the city. Hold up, whoa. It's mostly farmers and other laborers that live down there. They ain't got quite What's that much faulty space, but it's subtitle? Cheaper, so it all works out. Okay. Huh. Jesus. Well, uh, I want to get Milena or Melina Axelrod permission to do business in Aquila City. Milena Axelrod? I wished I'd never heard that name again. She's a menace. She punched me in the face. Can you imagine? God, I can Why imagine. Why would you want to let her back here? <laughs> I bet she was so fucking cool and sexy and amazing and daring and dashing when she punched you in the face. If we help her, her family, the Janssens, might escape starving to death. Is she really that bad? Is she really that bad? Yes. Maybe. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, she ran cargo for me for years. I even considered her a friend. But she stabbed me in the back. Well, not literally. But I swore to keep her banned for life. Well, if we help her, her family, the Janssens, might escape starving to death. What? Oh, that, that's terrible. Listen, I feel for the uh, Janssens. If it was just the fisticuffs, I could look the other way. But we caught her smuggling red-handed. She's been blacklisted for good reason. But legally, if you pay off a bounty, I can't stop her from coming back. But we'll be watching her. Hmm. The bounty is only five grand. This will take care of her bounty. Persuade. Everyone deserves a second chance. Let me think about it. She was smuggling? She was smuggling? Yes. Honestly, I can't remember exactly what the cargo was. It was years ago. But I do remember getting sucker punched. Too bad we can't have Sam Coe pull a few strings, right? <laughs> like, like we heard about with his own uh, smuggling situation. Come on, everyone deserves a second chance. I'd like to think that, but... There is no reason for us to have a problem, is there? Don't you have anything better to do than ride my ass? <laughs> Fuck, these are the two options we get. <laughs> oh my god, Mayor, I need you to climb out of my ass. I'm starting to that think you trying to get away with something. You really don't want to get on my bad side. There's no need for that. We're just talking, right? For now. Well, I'm glad you're starting to come around to my point of view. I'm trying to be reasonable here. <laughs> All right. What's the problem here? Come on. <laughs> mm, it worked. Critical paranoid. success. <laughs> this really is against my better judgment. But fine. She can come back. <sighs> I need a drink. Okay. Well, that went well. Is this your house? Yeah, Cartwright Manor. Okay. God, every time I see the name Cartwright, I cannot help but not hear fucking James Hong in that uh, famous episode of Seinfeld calling for Cartwright. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Have we been in here before? Or is this just how it looks in here? You know, like shit. 
Sanctum Universum Volume 1. Oh, fuck. I'm taking that. Okay. Read that after we finish our help reading. Huh? Anything else in here of interest? Oh, a cuddle sore. Okay. Which cuddle sore, not knowing the spelling of it. Ugh, fucking parents. Not knowing the spelling of cuddle sore sounds really fucked up. It sounds like some sort of ailment, <laughs> right? Oh, you were cuddling a little too much. Now you're covered in a sore. You've got sores all over your body because you were cuddling too much. Disgusting. Ugh. Chill. Take it easy. <laughs> but no, it's a little fun creature. Okay. Crimson Cabin. Just shit flying and falling all over the place. Good. Oh, look at this. Okay. Some packaged chunks. Anyone in here? I don't think so. Man, I'm just gonna eat your cereal. Raw. <laughs> just, just gonna eat your cereal raw, fucking Cartwright. Jesus, look at this setup. Look at this. Look at what is this mug holder? Man, it's stuck there too. Holy hell. Okay. This is membrane. Wow, it looks like aluminum foil. Okay. The membrane of an aluminum monster. Okay, well. Jeez, look at this big ass TV, fucking A. Sword of Damocles. Okay. That goes outdoors. All right. Jeez, this cannot be a good angle from which to watch the television, right? Like, if you're sitting down here, isn't it, like, also up too high and you're not centered? Good lord, that would irk me beyond belief. Okay. Fun plants. Looks like a lot of them are fucking dying, at least in this one. <laughs> Maybe they're supposed to look like shit, right? Maybe these are alien plants that just look like they're always dying. There's something poetic there about that. Okay. Another copy of the same book. Holy shit. Bobby Vicente. Bobby sings these great songs. Neon Streets, three times tomorrow. Aquila come back. Wow, look at Bobby go. Fucking A. Man. What a weird bit of decor in your bedroom, right? Jeez, what is this guy? Fucking 18 years old or what? <laughs> he got fucking Bobby Vicente up there just in your bedroom? Jesus, okay. How about over here? Let's head on out. Okay. Let's see. Huh. Well. Fuck it. Let's go check back in with Marco. Yeah, we are tracking it. Good. Okay, and then after this, I guess we can go deal with I've been Frank. I've helping out my mom with doctor stuff. It's hard sometimes, but I kind of like it. Okay. Tell me What's more. What's inside the human body is, is gross. Really gross. Yeah, it is. It really is. Okay. Try not to think about too much all the weird shit inside of the human body. <laughs> okay. Outside the wall, things get dicey. Us are no joke. In for us. Yeah, everybody is nonstop fucking telling me, like, Fuck, oh, Akil, we need, we got, we got the wall, we need the wall up. There's fucking ostrich. You'd think that they were like five miles high, like, 
pounds of them, like those G's. pounds of them, like <laughs> loads of them stacked up, like World War Z or some shit, you know, trying to get inside of Aquila. Just like loads of these creatures, just constantly like roaming around, like prowling around. Doesn't seem that bad, right? You'd think they would be just like a burning hellscape out there. The farms struggle to even exist. You know? <laughs> Just not. God, there's another Ashta attack. He was taken away at night by the fucking Ashta, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? People are losing their fucking minds over the Ashta. Good God. All right. I hope Milena can help us out. If you make the trick to her and turn up nothing, I'll feel terrible. I did it. I didn't turn up nothing. Milena contacted me. She's making me her official importer. I'm not sure how much it pays, but I'll take it. You have no idea what you've done. Damn, you don't even know how much it pays. All right, well, just be careful. Milena's been caught smuggling before. Give Milena a chance. She's fun. It's all taken care of. All right, just be careful. Milena has been known to be a little, uh, bit of a criminal. I figured it might be something like that. I'll make sure to keep my distance from any of that. I can't wait to tell Simone. This is the first ray of sunshine we've seen in years. Jesus Christ, you gave me 11 grand? <laughs> I thought their family was struggling and they just gave me like the biggest monetary reward I've gotten yet in the entire fucking game. <laughs> Holy shit. I just, like it was a 5k bounty I was potentially about to pay off. They just gave me more than double that. <laughs> Fuck yes. All right. Man, you know what? I guess the, uh... I have to assume that the monetary rewards scale upward, right? That they're scaling with our level. Otherwise, that is absolutely buck wild. I don't think the XP did, though, did it? I don't think so, despite the fact that our XP requirements keep going upward. That said, I didn't really pay too much attention. I was too busy looking at the 11.5 grand that I just made. All right, well... Let's see. Oh, yeah, the, the seismic shit. Fucking, hey, I almost forgot. Yeah, let's check in on that. Let's see over here. We, we go over and she's like, My God, I've just heard the... My sensors are going absolutely haywire. There's five million Ashta about ready to knock down the Aquila City walls. It's up to you, bold adventurer, to stop them. really tamper with the data intentionally? I just don't see any other explanation. Oh my god, was Davis doing it or whatever his name was? Was Dave out here fucking with it? Oh, it's you. I got the data from the seismic sensors and I, I, I need help. Nothing that would get you in trouble this time. Promise. God, we're gonna go out there investigating whatever may be going on with the sensors. And it's gonna be just like fucking Titan. It's gonna be Dave or Davies or Davis or whatever. That fucking dude is gonna be out there dressed up in an Ashta costume, roaming around pretending to be an Ashta just to trigger the and flip the sensors. I'd be happy to help if I can. If there are credits involved, I'm in. What do you need? Some other time, maybe. What do you need? I need someone to go talk to Davis Wilson. He isn't speaking to me. None of the security folks are actually. All right, well, sure. I'll I'd be happy to help. Oh, thank you. It's really nice to hear that when others just don't seem to care. Remember the sensors you helped me set up around the city? Well, Davis Wilson is pretty angry about it. I suppose I should have expected that, but now no one involved with security is willing to talk to me. At all. And I really need to coordinate with them because the data I'm getting from the sensors is... Well, it's off. Not what I expected at all. What's wrong with the data? Kinda everything. The timing of the results, the strength of the signals. I did a lot of research on the Ashta before I started this project, and none of it lines up like it should. I mean, if I were you, I would just immediately cast doubt upon me <laughs> right i am the person who set up every single one of those sensors and i was talking to davis just recently i have every reason to be at the top of your guilty list for tampering with this shit but sure i'll look into it <laughs> maybe your tech just isn't working properly right you know i set it all up out there properly maybe 
maybe you fucked up. Have you considered that maybe you just fucked up? No, the tech is fine. <laughs> I never would have put it out there if I had any reservations about that. Look, I know I screwed up here. I went behind Davis's back and did what he told me not to. I don't expect him to talk to me. But this, I'm not gonna lie. It looks an awful lot like someone has been purposely messing with the system. My god, who would do just that? I stroll up and accuse him of anything, but maybe someone, you I'm thinking, could just ask around, see if something is going on. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> I wonder if we'll have an option to, to like, go Team Davis here. Okay. Oh shit, I can't get out that way. There we are. Oh, yo, dude is up there. All right. Uh, oh. Uh, boost pack away, baby. The people around here think we own Aquila. They're wrong. The Asta do. <laughs> dude, people in Aquila are freaking out about the fucking Asta. Like, holy shit. Davis, do you see any fucking Asha out there, dude? Fuck, oh, I think there's a herd of them coming right over the fucking bridge. Jesus, there's a herd of 500 Asha coming over, all their fangs snarling, saliva flying out of their, like, mouths and shit, their eyes bloodshot, fierce with anger, pissed at the world, ready to fucking ruin our day. Oh, they just killed 500 farmers <laughs> right off the, the path. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's it's so fucking wild. Everyone is just like losing their shit at the Asha. Oh my god. <laughs> You'd think that they would be like the most fucked up creep. You'd think they would be Terramorphs. Honestly, right? You would think they would just be Terramorphs. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Davis. Don't mean to be rude. But I got a lot of things on my plate right now, so unless this is important, I'm gonna have to ask you to come back some other time. Kiani thinks you're sabotaging her sensors. I hear there's something strange happening with the Asha. Oh, sorry to bother you, I'll check in later. I hear there's something strange happening with the Asha. Oh, did you now? And did that perhaps come from a certain entitled so-called inventor who's caused me no end of headaches? It did. Kiani is worried about the results she's getting. I'm just a concerned citizen looking for reassurance. Just tell me if you're tampering with Kiani's data. Kiani is worried. Oh, is she? After going off and doing exactly what she was told not to, she's concerned now? She made my life a lot more difficult, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. I have more important things to worry about. Been tracking Ashta for a long time now, and suddenly their behavior doesn't add up. Probably not a coincidence. Oh my god, the sensors made them into super pissed off Ashta. It's like upset them. <laughs> They're going to attack for real. They're going to fucking attack! God, I hope they fucking attack this city. <gasps> It's not Kiani's fault. I bet it is. God, I hope it is. If she's caused any problems, I'm sure she'll help fix them. Maybe that would explain the data she's getting. She should be held accountable if she's put people in danger. <laughs> and rest assured, Davis, I had nothing to do with any of this. <laughs> uh, maybe that would explain the data she's getting. Maybe it would, but right now I don't give a damn about her data. Now, I need to get back out there and get some eyes on this situation. Since you so interested, looks like you can handle yourself. You want to join me? I've dealt with meaner creatures than this. I'm in. Oh my god, this is the perfect opportunity. We go out beyond the wall to investigate the Ashta situation? We can solve Kiani's issue with security. Permanently. Right? We take out Davis outside the wall and pin it on the Ashta, who were always a threat, and now they're worse than ever. They killed Davis, one of the most long-standing and devoted guards of the walls of Aquila, And now they've claimed his life. My God. If anything, we need the sensors up and running more than ever. <laughs> if there are credits involved, I'll tag along. Not my idea of a good time. I've dealt with meaner creatures in this. I'm in. 
<laughs> oh my yeah, god, I what a sinister laugh. If you wanna say something similar. Dog, he's going to kill me. <laughs> for he knows I'm involved. Give he's going to take me out. You need to and meet me at the gate. We'll head out from there. Okay, fucking A. Jeez, and Pete. <laughs> what a wild arc this has been. <laughs> the fucking Ashta. Jesus. Okay, let's do a hard save. You know, it's amazing that the UC or whoever the fuck was responsible for the Terramorphs. They shouldn't- who, Why even fuck with the Terramorphs? Just start getting Ashta everywhere. People from the Freestar Collective, they're fucking terrified of them, right? Terramorphs, who gives a shit, right? They're a dime a dozen, you fight them, fucking heat leeches and shit. Who gives a shit? If you really want to strike fear in the hearts of your enemy with some kind of Xeno warfare shit, listen, the Red Devil should have been all over this Ashta shit, like flies on a donut, you know? They should have had, like, Super Ashta going off Ultra Ashta. There should have been, like, Chameleon Ashta, Ashta Matriarchs and shit. You know, get the whole fucking prefix affix situation rolling on these Ashta. This is what Aquila is terrified of. They don't fuck around. <laughs> All right, Davis Wilson, I'm, I'm ready. Let's check it out. All right, you ready to head out there? Hell yeah, man. I'm <laughs> as ready as I'll ever be. I'm raring to go. Hang on, I think I forgot something. I'm raring to go. Well, you certainly brought enough enthusiasm for the both of us. Just stick close to me, keep your head on a swivel, and you'll be fine. We'll be back before you know it. And maybe we'll get some answers. <laughs> God, could you imagine if we come out here and he really does try to kill me? <laughs> God, that would have been- that would be fucking amazing. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna use my fucking, like, super bridger here, too. My instigating one. This it's a Laredo, too, ain't it? Tracks. They're all wrong. The space in the depth. This doesn't make any sense. Dog, I'm like Let's a professor turned minor turned adventurer, and I can't even see these tracks, really. <laughs> okay. I don't even know what an Ashta track looks like. I didn't even know Ashta had feet, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, there's some little fencing here. Oh, here the we go. Are clever, but they're usually predictable. These tracks don't follow any other paths I expect them to. It just doesn't add up. Looks like the tracks head this way. They're not following any paths? Maybe someone really is trying to use the Ashta. <laughs> Honestly, it's a great idea. Hell? This is one of our security bots. Oh someone shit. Sent this thing out to mimic the Ashta? Why in the world? Shit. You hear that? Eyes up. We got incoming. Oh shit. It's the Ashta. This weapon. If only I had more ammo for it. <laughs> okay. Ash the burrow. You feel him coming before you see him. All right, I'm gonna rely on you because I can't actually feel anything like that. I don't think. Oh, what are these? Com relay. We're gonna have another wave come after us, or are we just heading back? Dude, what if Keanu really is like a sinister force here? <laughs> Something is up. Oh, the third person, right? There was a third party involved here. I forgot who it was, though. What if it's their doing? Holy shit, that farm building looks amazing at night. Holy fuck. Dude, the nighttime lighting on shit in Starfield generally looks incredible. Stay close. Stay safe. 
What do you think? There's gonna be Ashta that broke through the front door? <laughs> okay. I'm surprised they don't have any, like, sounds or smells or whatever that they put around that drive them off. Davis, where are we going? Are we going to the robot guy? So we're gonna have a house warm? That's what Mr. Tate is working on. We'll have to move out when construction begins. A for real house. Like the ones in the core? <laughs> it's not going to be a manor house, honey. What? Four walls, a roof, floor. Can RG move in with us? Maybe. Mr. Tate says he's starting with four meters, so we'll have neighbors. This is so cool! Oh, man. I love the way in which they handled the sort of problems with the Freestar, with Aquila, and with the UC. Maybe you should expand. Oh, that's disgusting. Someone's keeping this, the runoff? Ugh. Oh, that's gotta be so gross. You really gotta boil the shit out of that. Beyond the wall is no day trip. Davis, are... Are we beyond the wall right now? <laughs> What's going on, man? What... <laughs> are we... What are you saying that we're not we're not in Aquila right now? Should I have talked to him? You know how to handle yourself. Most times someone encounters an ash that they panic. Not you. But now I got even more questions. Holy what shit, I was supposed to talk to him. <laughs> I was just following him home. <laughs> I was gonna finish the fucking job that the Ashta couldn't. Keani's not responsible. Dog, maybe Keani is responsible. I don't fucking know. Maybe this is someone's idea of a joke. I think this is Miss Alp Alpin's doing. Keani Alpin? Is that their name? Fuck yeah. It, it, sure. Sure, it fucking is. Why not? Why not? Why not? This is Miss Alpin's doing. Mmm, Keani is a pain in the ass. But this... This was messing with her precious data. I mean, it's possible, but I don't think so. Maybe it was me, Davis. Maybe it was Someone me. I'm the third party. Did this. We're the only ones that have access to these robots or can change their orders. I need to check this over, see if I can find some more details. But while I do that, I need you to run back to the city. Check the access logs on the computer in the barracks. Look for whoever signed for this thing last. I'll meet you in the city when I'm done here. He just realized he actually went Bank right into the city. <laughs> gone down so much worse. Yeah, holy fuck, I'm really enjoying Aquila. <laughs> All right, I'm I am thoroughly enjoying the side questing opportunities in Aquila. It's like like I said, it feels very very classic, very traditional BGS sort of side questing, you know, very very much like a BGS town, BGS quests. I'm loving it. I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying this shit. There's just there's stupid shit going on. People are just like freaking out over Ashta. I fucking love it. I'm eating this shit up. I'm I'm Aquila. I fucking love it here. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you'd like to stick around, we will of course be doing a little bit of help menu reading. Right. Let's see. What have we got to read this time? But. Oh my gosh, contraband and stolen items. All right. Let me write this down. Contraband and stolen items. All right. Contrabands are items that have been deemed illegal throughout the settled systems. You will oftentimes be scanned for contraband by security when jumping into a planet's orbit. If you are caught carrying contraband, either on your person or in your ship, security will attempt to arrest you. However, there are ways to smuggle contraband past these scans. For more info, see the smuggling entry. 
Stolen items are any items that, are take, that were taken illegally from an owner. Unlike contraband, security will not scan you for stolen items, but will attempt to arrest you if you are caught stealing something. For more info on the crime, see the crime entry. Items are considered owned if they have a red icon next to their name when viewed in the world. If an item is stolen, it will have the same red icon on it when viewed in your inventory. Contraband will have a yellow icon, both in your inventory and when you see it in the world. It is illegal to carry contraband and stolen items. All of your stolen items and contraband will be confiscated and removed from your inventory if you are arrested for a crime. Yeah, you know what? It's gotta be said. I fucking love the contraband system. I love the smuggling and contraband shit going on in Starfield, right? I'm super extremely looking forward to it in Elder Scrolls 6, right? You know for sure this has got to come up in the Thieves Guild or whatever Thieves Guild equivalent they're going to have, right? We're going to be finally, we're going back to the world of Morrowind, you know? Back when people wouldn't trade with you if you had moon sugar or skooma on your person. But we're going to fucking up the ante, you know? We got to include the contraband system, right? There's got to be even more drugs. I want more illicit shit going on, right? Finally, it can actually be illegal to trade in, like, I don't know, certain Daedric artifacts, right? In Morrowind, we laugh all the time about how it's just, like... And, and sure, sure enough, they do have, like, lore, lore justifications for, like, oh, yeah, you're not supposed to trade in Daedric artifacts or uh, ash statues or fucking uh, Dwemer items and shit in Morrowind. Now, we have... If they wanted to, they could make that real shit. I mean, granted, they probably could have then, but now they've got even more structure for that system if they want to make use of it, right? God, I hope they do. Oh my gosh, there's so much. It is rife with opportunity. I cannot wait. All right, well, uh, that said, it is good here too, but, you know, I'm just such a fucking sucker for Elder Scrolls. Uh, when next we come back, we will continue on with our great Ashta investigation. Yeah. And uh, perhaps we can fuck Frank over or aid Frank in some way. Ideally, I would like to help Frank, but uh, we just may not be able to. I don't know. <laughs> Until next time, please take care of each other.